sir. Uh, thank you for joining us, sir. Welcome to the program. You've been with us for quite some thank time. You. Thank you for the warm welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, I have a question for you. Uh, as the IMA president, you have been representing both Rajmundri and to the state council and to the center. With that uh, experience and the uh, commitment to the IMA, there is a question from one of the practitioners. Sir, my setup is a single consultant outpatient practice. Can I start my practice, number one? Number two, if I am to start, what precautions and infrastructure changes should I have to restart my practice? Can you briefly address to this pertinent question, sir? So, the, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Kangavel. It's an important question and uh, it's a question for each and every one because the majority of the hospitals almost 80 to 90 percent of the hospitals are uh, a single man show, a single brand, single man show. And um, we need to remodify our infrastructure to handle the present COVID scenario. The remodification and the, uh, the OP registration, count, as, as far as possible, try to minimize the OP request possible. Coming to the OP registration, try to identify high-risk patients covered, and they have to be properly segregated. Because uh, previously, we used to see a single man show, they asked, we used to see hundreds of patients, 50 to 100 patients during the OP times. Now, with the current area, we have to do proper spacing, proper timing. So, proper apartment system should be properly made. And also, the physicians who, who are willing to start the hospital should spend more time in the hospital, should allot more time for the OP patients because you cannot you have to give spacing for the each and every patient. Similarly, you have to maintain a record of each and every patient's phone number, the address, whatever the patients will see. Because if any patients whom we have seen comes to be positive in the latter day, all these patients need to be um, tested. So proper recording of the OP patients needs to be done. And similarly, whenever uh, uh, once the patient enters into the OP, usually a staff member a staff member takes, it is ideal to keep a multi-para monitor instead of routine BPR practices because it will minimize the patient to patient uh, person to uh, person to um, patient contact. We have to uh, uh, use the multi-para monitors. And similarly, the, our work area, especially in the OP, should have as early as far as possible single entry and single exit uh, systems. And similarly, our OP chamber should be redesigned. We have to reduce, we have to keep only minimal things in the OP chamber. We have to remove all the decorators to uh, to reduce the formal transmission. And um, if you cannot maintain electronic medical records, if the patient is coming from, we should patient enter, should enter with only minimal records as far as possible. And those minimal records with the, which the patient is carrying should be kept in a separate tray on our OP chamber so that he will not contaminate the entire table. And these OP, these separate trays should be period, um, removed for each and every patient, re sanitized and re, re kept on the patients. And similarly, we have to to prepare, prepare brooches, brooches both for the inpatients as well as the outpatients, what precautions have to be followed and what methodologies they have to adopt while in the hospital. And similarly, each and every patient, suppose um, uh, all the staff members should especially be more important to the staff members, especially the staff nurses or class four employees, because even, even after the present, uh, in the COVID era, in the in our hospital and the majority of the hospitals, these staff members are not educated so far. Still, they are not respecting the social distancing, especially the class four employees and the sisters. We have to educate them. For this, we have to make a strict protocols for, for them not to move out of their areas, working areas. If a sister is allowed to two beds, she has to be in the two beds only. And similarly, in a single man shows, we have to always uh, isolate, create an isolation area or segregation area. Any suspect patient and all the suspect patients, we have to keep only in the segregation area until unless we have proved that it's positive or negative. Because if a patient comes 
either from the op or ip to be positive the entire hospital will be forced to shut and all the staff members will be forced to undergo tests and until then until the hospital is sanitized the hospital has to be uh, kept closed so in order to prevent this we have to keep a uh, segregation isolation areas etc and also in patients especially in patients separate protocols has to be um, uh, given and all in our audio visual um, uh, devices what we have tvs and all we have to keep keep on um, 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 